As part of the process of becoming a Sheriff's Officer, a pre-employment medical assessment will be undertaken to assess your medical and mental resilience capability. At times, the duties of the Sheriff's Officer can be physical and may involve running, bending, lifting heavy objects and being able to navigate obstacles in tight spaces. Sheriff's Officers may need to use self-defence and control restraint techniques during the course of their employment. The medical assessment is designed to assess your overall health status and whether you have any medical conditions which may impede your ability to safely perform the duties of the Sheriff's Officer. The components of the medical assessment are directly related to the requirements of the Sheriff's Officer and are designed to test your core, upper body, lower limb, grip and overall strength and mobility. It includes push-ups, lunges, deep squats, hover and strength tests. As the role is required to use x-ray machinery, it is mandatory for officers to have no colour blindness. Mental resilience is also a requirement of the Sheriff's Officer as they can be regularly exposed to explicit information and footage relayed during court hearings, including child and sexual assault matters. At times, this can be difficult for even the most physically and mentally competent person. You'll be provided with support from the department and your colleagues in managing challenging situations. You will also be required to complete details of your medical history, which may require us seeking further information from your medical practitioners. If required, this will be undertaken following your physical assessment. The best advice we can give you is to be honest in your disclosures when you are asked to complete the relevant screening and consent forms. It is important that you prepare for the fitness assessment well in advance, as a second opportunity may not be provided should you fail to meet the required standards. We encourage you to discuss this with your doctor prior to commencing any training and fitness regime. If you do not feel you are currently fit enough to successfully complete components of the medical assessment, you may wish to reconsider applying at this time and take the time to focus on your health and wellbeing, including fitness. The Office of the Sheriff regularly undertakes recruitment, normally twice per year. If you are not successful in your overall assessments as a Sheriff's Officer, you will not be reconsidered for another 12 months. As a self-assessment, you should aim for 25 push-ups, 90 second plank, 20 sit-ups with feet held or under furniture, grip strength, walking or running. A general level of cardiovascular health is required and workers should be walking at fast pace for at least 30 minutes, three times a week. Push-ups provide an indication of upper body strength and endurance, as well as stabilising abdominal strength. The standards provide an indication that an officer has the basic capacity to support their own body weight, carrying weight or counter against resistance, particularly in circumstances where protection of oneself or others may be required. Males. Start the push-up position with your toes on the ground, feet together, arms shoulder width apart with palms flat. The back should be straight and head looking forward or down and arms fully extended. This is the up position. From the up position, the arms bend to a 90 degree angle from the shoulder to elbow. The body should remain generally in a straight line and parallel to the ground. This is the down position. Keeping the body generally in a straight line, the arms are then extended so that the body returns to the up position. Returning to the up position constitutes one repetition. You should aim for 25 push-ups. Females will be given the option of doing this with their knees on the ground. Start the push-up position with the knees on the ground, arms shoulder width apart and palms flat. The back should be straight and the head looking forward or down and arms fully extended. This is the up position. From the up position, the arms bend to 90 degree angle from the shoulder to elbow. The body should remain generally in a straight line. This is the down position. Keep the body in a straight line. The arms are then extended so the body returns to the up position. Returning to the up position constitutes one repetition. You should aim for 25 push-ups. Planking demonstrates overall core strength, which is important as sheriff's officers wear a vest and appointments which weigh around seven kilos. Poor core strength would result in lower back issues and fatigue. Lie face down, legs straight out behind you, knees and feet together. 
Bend your elbows with your forearms facing each other. Support your weight on your forearms. Brace your abs and prop your body off the ground, forming a straight line from your head through to your heels. You should aim for 90 second plank. The grip strength test measures the maximum isometric strength of the hand and forearm muscles. These standards provide indication that candidates have the basic capacity to grip and utilise specific items related to the custodial environment such as handcuffs, batons and keys. Grip strength is also a key requirement during any incident that may involve the physical restraint of an offender. Start position. Hold the hand grip in the hand to be tested. The base should rest on the first metacarpal, heel of the palm, where the handle should rest upon the middle of the four remaining fingers. Stand straight to attention with feet slightly apart and arms placed alongside the body. The hand grip should be facing out and must not contact the body or clothing. Squeeze the grip with maximum isometric force and maintain it for three to five seconds. No other body movement is allowed. Repeat with the other hand. There are many exercises that can be used to improve your grip strength ability. We recommend researching on the internet and having consultation with your doctor to find an exercise that suits you. You should aim at reaching 35 kilos per hand.